So today's video, we're gonna learn about lead in drinking water and kidney disease and how even lead levels that are under the Environmental Protection Agency standards. So they set standards for what's the acceptable amount of lead to have in your water. So even lead that's under those limits has shown to be bad for kidney disease. So we're gonna talk about that in this study that came out. If you're new to our channel, this is Healthy Kidney Inc. Our website is healthykidneyinc.com. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't, where we just give lots of great information about things that you can do in your control to help support kidney health. Okay, American, uh, Mary, sorry, sorry, excuse me, the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology published July 15, 2021, Association of Lead Concentrations in Drinking Water with Hemoglobin Concentrations and Erythropoietin Stimulating Use Among Patients with Advanced Chronic Kidney Disease. That's the title if you want to look it up. Basically what this study uh, said, and it's published in a very prestigious journal in the field of nephrology, they looked at lead levels in people with like stage four kidney disease, people that were getting close to starting dialysis. And they found that any amount of lead, even levels that are considered acceptable, it lowered people's hemoglobin and made them use more uh, EPO, erythropoietin stimulating agents to try to correct the anemia. So that's bad. So even if your drinking water has just even the small amounts of lead in there, it's gonna cause a problem if you have kidney health. Now this area of heavy metals, uh, heavy metal toxins, isn't really addressed in the field of kidney disease much. Uh, they do see some things that pops on a biopsy, but really nobody is doing any heavy metal testing. So I always recommend that anybody with kidney disease get some heavy metal testing, okay? You can do it through blood, you can do it through hair. The Environmental Protection Agency does it through hair, so they recommend that way. And you can find a lot of labs online that you can do that. Just put in a hair mineral analysis and you can see. You can get your water tested to see if there's any lead in it, any detectable levels. They sell test kits at hardware stores. Uh, online you can get them and you just get a little sample of your water, send it in, they send your report back. So a couple different ways to go about it if you're looking at just doing everything you can for your kidney health. Now, if you are drinking tap water and you don't know what it is, you still want it to be clean, if you do know there's some lead in there, you're gonna wanna use a filter. Now, I'm gonna recommend the Brita or Pure filters, which are the popular filters that you see at hardware stores, the ones that you put on your sink. They also come in the pitcher that you fill the top and it filters the water out and those take out most of the lead so uh, with that um, you're gonna get most of your lead out so you won't have to worry so much you can always get tested you can always get test your body's heavy metal level which I do recommend at least once um, and you can also test the water uh, but you always want to drink clean water so go back to one of those um, activated carbon filters carbon based filters the Brita or pure the most popular there's a lot of them out there but you don't want to get any extra lead because it's just bad and any heavy metals are bad okay they're bad for you so if you do have some of those check out our video number two about how to detox how to get rid of those heavy metals if you may have them in your system or you want to do a safe detox just to get rid of things like heavy metals we're going to go over that in video number two but for now uh just watch that lead really important to watch that lead and any other heavy metals thanks for watching everybody into your best kidney health bye